What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. Usually I order products and I review them, but this time somebody sent me something and asked me to review it. So here I am today to give you my honest review of this coffee maker. So this is by Saboli, S-B-O-L-Y. They sent me an email. I'll show you what they said here. Okay, so they said, Hi, just saw. Nice to be connected with you. This is Nicole from Thumbs Up E-Commerce, the owner of the brand S. Boley, a hot cell home appliance brand on Amazon. Our product ranges covers coffee maker, coffee grinder, blender, and other kitchen appliances. They gave me their Amazon store and asked if I was interested in reviewing one of their coffee makers. It's a single serve coffee maker, good appliance for a coffee lover, which can be used in the home, office, and outdoors. I believe you will love it. If you're interested in giving it a try, please reply to the email. So I replied and said, heck yeah, send me a free coffee maker and I'll review it for you. So I used to drink a lot of coffee. I actually have a Keurig, which takes K-cups. But the thing that I really like about this coffee maker is that you can also put ground coffee in it. I prefer ground coffee over K-cups. I think that you lose a bit of the regular coffee flavor when you use a K-cup. It just doesn't taste the same to me. So I'm interested to try this with the reusable coffee filter that comes with it, so eco-friendly, love it, and we will see how this thing works. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the box here. Comes with an instruction manual. All right, it looks like a simple coffee maker. My first Keurig that I had looked kind of similar to this, but it was just the one that you could use to make multiple cups of coffee rather than just one. So far, this is how it looks. Nothing really too special about the outside of it. It does come with this this K-cup thing, so this is where you would put your K-cup in. And then it also comes with a reusable coffee cup. And it does seem like it's insulated, so yeah, it's nice and insulated in there. Keep your coffee nice and warm. Okay, so I am gonna now figure out how to set this thing up, how to use it. The feature that I really wanna try is using it to brew coffee grounds. So I'm gonna open this thing up, Let's push to open. Oh, okay. So this is the little reusable coffee filter that comes with it, and you just put your coffee grounds in there. And then I suppose the back here is where you put the water in. It has little step marks as like five ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces, and 14 ounces. And I think that's how you measure like how much water you're putting in there. And then I suppose that you can switch between whether you're doing the K-cup or you're doing the coffee grounds. So just for simplicity's sake, we'll try the K-cup first and see how that does. I was trying to figure out where the buttons were, but they are on the side and they're flashing here. One says capsule and one says ground. So I'm guessing that capsule is the K-cup portion of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in here. So that is filled up to the max line. So I'm gonna close that little water thing. Then I have a K-cup here, which is the Starbucks breakfast blend. That is my favorite K-cup. So we will put that in there. I'm gonna close this lid. I heard it kind of crunch through the top of the K-cup there. And then we will hit the capsule button. I hear it bubbling like it's heating up the water. So I guess I just have to wait. <laughs> I'll turn it this way so you guys can see whenever it starts making coffee. One eternity later. This thing is really starting to boil. I can see like steam coming out the back of it and the machine is actually shaking a little bit, which is interesting. Okay, we've got some coffee. I actually think I may have messed up because the instructions say to just put as much water in there as you want for your coffee. So I think it's actually gonna make too much. I don't know if there's any way to stop it, but we're kind of committed at this point. So we're just gonna let it happen. Yeah, I don't even think that that cup holds that much coffee. I think I have made a grave mistake. Oh, I better get another cup. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> it's 
stopped just in time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to get another cup and switch it out. But literally I put the maximum amount of water in there and it used it all, that's for sure. So had I read the instructions before I did this, this may not have happened, but now I've got some really nice diluted coffee. So if you like your coffee watery, come on down to Odd Bucks. That was an epic fail. Okay, this time we're gonna try the ground coffee and we're not gonna put 14 ounces of water in there because now I know this really is like single use. So like you only put as much water in there as you need, which is convenient, just not when you're an idiot like me. I'm not even gonna drink that because I'm sure it's nasty. So we are gonna try this again. Now I do like this little basket. I hate regular coffee filters. The paper ones, they drive me crazy. So this is actually really a nice design. I'm gonna be using my favorite ground coffee, which is Cafe Bustelo. I actually started drinking this because of my dad. This was his favorite coffee or is, I don't know what he's drinking these days, but I like it because it's a Colombian coffee. So it's very strong. It has a very nice flavor to it. It actually tastes really good out of a French press, but that's obviously not what we're doing today. So about eight to 10 ounces of water is what you really want for a good cup of coffee. Anything more than that is just going to be too much. This is all set and ready to go, I believe. So now instead of hitting the capsule on the side, we're going to hit ground and then we're going to wait another eternity for a cup of coffee. The technology on this thing is really very simple. Like I would say compared to the Keurig, it's a very simple technology. There's not a touch screen on it like there is with the Keurig. For someone who doesn't like a lot of buttons or doesn't like to have to use the touch screen, it is less technology, more just functional. I do like that you just individually put as much water as you need in there and whatever coffee you need in there. And so it's individualized, you're not wasting any coffee. And I'm someone who does like simple things. So for me, this is not a bad product. I actually really like it. Now we've got coffee coming. This time I think it was a little bit faster probably because it was already warmed up. Oh, it's leaking out the front. Okay. Oops. I think that I may have put too many coffee grounds in there. I am just failing all over the place here. You guys, just don't mind me as I make a huge mess on my counter. So I think it's done. Oh, okay. So there's a thing on the side of this that says max for the max amount of coffee grounds that you're supposed to put in there. And I filled it all the way up to the top, so. Oops. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't really have a future in being a barista, but I did manage to make some coffee. The rest of it is on my counter. It does smell good. I really am not cut out for this. <laughs> See, there's this little thing called reading the instructions and uh, I chose not to do that. So so, so sorry to Nicole who sent me this from Saboli. But overall, I think it's a nice product. It's on the simpler side, so if you're not a big tech person, this is something that I would definitely see being useful. Also, if you don't have a lot of space on your counter, it is a nice design. Only downside is really not being able to choose the strength of your coffee and having to manually measure out the amount of ounces that you wanna use. Whereas in the Keurig, there's an option on the screen that you can choose what ounces and what strength of brew that you would like for your coffee. An upside for this for me is the reusable coffee ground filter because I don't want to have to have two separate coffee makers to make K-cups and ground coffee. So this eliminates that problem. Had I read the instructions, I'm sure that it would have gone much more smoothly, but you know, what's the fun in that? That's really watery. I think had I done it correctly, it may have tasted better. All things aside, thank you to Saboli for sending me this free product. They did send me a discount code for you guys if you're interested in getting one from Amazon. I believe it's in the range of 60 bucks. Let me double check. Yeah, so the Amazon price right now is 56.45. They have a $10 coupon going on right now. They also sent me a discount code for you guys, which is an additional 10% off. So that would make it about 50 bucks. 
The Keurig mini coffee maker that I was referring to that's similar to this runs right now for $69. So you're saving about $20 when you get this product. Not trying to sell it to you or anything, do whatever you want, I don't care. But this is a bit cheaper. Of course, always go out there, read reviews. I promise I'll always be honest with you guys when I do these reviews. Like they are not paying me to do this. They just sent me this little coffee maker. So I could have sat here and put on it the whole time. Really, it was a user error that the coffee did not come out correctly because I did not read the instructions. So read the instructions, guys. Had I done it, this would have worked just fine. It is a nice little product if that's something that you're in the market for. Is it rolling? I'm just wrapping it up. <laughs> guys, I pulled my pop socket off. Ooh, I got another cameo. By the way, cameo, <laughs> link in the description. Um, is it unsticky? Oh, I mean, it's a little bit sticky, but... I'm sure you can stick that back on. Oh, uh, stick it back on. How's the coffee? Is it delicious? Um, no, I actually had two epic fails. <laughs> oh, does it not work? No, it works. It was a hey. user error. Oh, I didn't read operator the, error. I did not uh, read the instructions, so I spilled coffee all over the counter. That's why it smells like coffee in here. Yeah. I thought, honey, wait, wow. You're standing up, my head's cut off. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so you don't have any coffee. Long story short. I told them it was my fault. I literally, coffee started spewing out of the front of it and I was like. I don't know, that's hilarious. <laughs> Did it get in the cat's water? No, it just only landed on the counter. All right guys, so check this out. Go buy one of these. If you want to. I if not, go. I don't care. I gotta take a shower. <laughs> okay, have fun, honey. All right guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Leave me some comments in the comment section. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you have that notification bell on so you know when I'm posting videos. My Instagram is in the description so make sure you're following that so you have updates about when I'm posting videos. Other than that, thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Honey bottom out.